ever recognized a face that effortlessly blended into the classic Hollywood era? That might have been Anne Blythe. Can you recall the first time you watched a film featuring this iconic actress? Whether it was captivating performances or the roles taken on, there's something unforgettable about her on the silver screen. As we delve into the life and career of this Hollywood gem, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Anne Blythe. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And here's a heads up, stay tuned for some funny, shocking, and even sad facts about this classic Hollywood actor. Keep watching for a journey through the lesser known facets of Anne Blythe's life. What's your Anne Blythe story? We'd love to hear it. Born in 1928 in Mount Kisco, New York, Anne Blythe's early life laid the foundation for her later success in Hollywood. Raised in a modest family, she navigated the challenges of the Great Depression, shaping her resilience and determination. Growing up with two brothers, she found herself immersed in a supportive family environment. Her journey into the entertainment world began in her teenage years when she caught the eye of a talent agent. Natural charisma and talent earned her a spot on Broadway, marking the commencement of her acting career. The transition from the stage to the silver screen happened seamlessly as she soon found herself cast in Hollywood productions. The early influences on her career were diverse. Family support played a pivotal role, providing a stable foundation for her aspirations. Additionally, her experiences during the challenging times of the 1930s contributed to her ability to connect with characters on a deeper level. One significant turning point in her early career was the breakthrough role in the film Mildred Pierce. Her portrayal of Veda Pierce showcased acting prowess and versatility. The success of this film catapulted her into the spotlight, establishing her as a sought-after actress in Hollywood. Navigating the intricacies of the film industry, her early experiences were shaped by a combination of determination, familial support, and the ability to breathe life into diverse characters. These formative years set the stage for a career that would leave an indelible mark on classic Hollywood. In the 1970s, Anne Blythe took on a different role outside the film industry. She became the face of Hostess Cupcakes, serving as their commercial spokesperson. This unexpected venture into advertising showcased versatility beyond the silver screen, proving that her influence extended beyond the realm of acting. Blythe's family background played a significant role in shaping her identity. Her mother, Annie Lynch, hailing from Ireland, passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 50. Meanwhile, her father, Harry Blythe, of Irish descent, saw Anne grow up alongside her elder sister, Dorothy. The decision to drop the E in their surname was a subtle but meaningful adjustment made by her. One memorable Oscar moment marked a unique chapter in her career. During the 1954 broadcast, she surprised the audience by singing Doris Day's nominated song Secret Love from the movie Calamity Jane while being seven months pregnant. The unexpected yet remarkable performance left jaws dropping and eyebrows raising, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences in unexpected ways. This brief detour into the Hostess Cupcakes endorsement and the surprising Oscar performance adds layers to Anne Blythe's multifaceted career, highlighting adaptability and the ability to connect with audiences in diverse settings. Following her breakthrough in Hollywood, Blythe's contributions were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6733 Hollywood Boulevard on February 8, 1960. This acknowledgement solidified her status in the industry. Notably, in 1945, she received a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her role in Mildred Pierce, making her the earliest surviving recipient of such an honor as of 2022. This nomination underscored her early prowess and set the stage for a remarkable career. Away from the limelight, Blythe embraced family life in Los Angeles County. She welcomed five children, each born in different years, Timothy Patrick, Maureen Ann, Kathleen Mary, Terence Grady, and Eileen Alana. These milestones in her personal life added depth to the narrative of a Hollywood star balancing family and career. As she reflected on her life, her ability to seamlessly transition from Hollywood to unexpected roles becomes apparent. In the 1970s, she stepped into the advertising world as the face of Hostess Cupcakes, showcasing a versatility that extended beyond acting. This unexpected venture highlighted her adaptability and demonstrated that her influence transcended the confines of the silver screen. Family played a crucial role in shaping her identity. Her mother, Annie Lynch, and father, Harry Blythe, 
both of Irish descent, provided the foundation for her journey. The decision to drop the E in their surname reflected a subtle yet meaningful adjustment. One unforgettable Oscar moment added a unique chapter to her career. During the 1954 broadcast, she surprised the audience by singing Doris Day's nominated song Secret Love from the movie Calamity Jane while seven months pregnant. This unexpected yet remarkable performance showcased her ability to captivate audiences in unexpected ways, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood history. In conclusion, Blythe's Hollywood journey was marked by milestones, family, and unexpected ventures. From a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame to being the earliest surviving Best Supporting Actress nominee, her story is one of resilience, versatility, and unexpected surprises. And Blythe, a staunch conservative Republican, consistently lent her support to political figures such as Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, and George W. Bush. Her political allegiance remained unwavering throughout the years. In the film The Helen Morgan Story, Blythe's own beautiful voice was purportedly dubbed by singer Gogi Grant. The reason behind this substitution was her voice's classical training and high-pitched nature, which led to the decision to bring in a vocalist with a different style. For decades, Anne Blythe maintained her primary residence in Toluca Lake, an upscale community in the San Fernando Valley. This locale became synonymous with her private life, providing a serene backdrop away from the hustle and bustle of the Hollywood scene. Portraying the complex character of Veta Pierce in Mildred Pierce, Blythe's legacy took an interesting turn in the FX series Feud. The character was brought to life by Sarah Molaski in an episode titled The Other Woman. However, it's worth noting that in H. Bo's Mildred Pierce, the character remained true to the original novel, devoid of any murderous inclinations. The addition of a murder plot in the film version aimed to enhance its appeal to the audience of the time. Following the nationwide release of Mildred Pierce, she faced an unexpected challenge. While tobogganing in Snow Valley, she broke her back, leading to a six-month convalescence. This incident marked a significant moment of adversity in her life. Before making her mark in Hollywood, her early aspirations leaned towards an operatic career. She studied with the San Carlo Opera Company, showcasing versatility and dedication to her craft. Away from the silver screen, she ventured into an unexpected role as the face of Hostess Cupcakes in the 1970s, expanding her influence beyond acting. This foray into advertising demonstrated adaptability and the ability to connect with diverse audiences. In a unique Oscar moment during the 1954 broadcast, she surprised the audience by singing Doris Day's nominated song Secret Love from the movie Calamity Jane. This unexpected performance, while seven months pregnant, showcased her ability to captivate audiences in unconventional ways, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood history. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, she maintained her support for conservative Republican political figures, aligning herself with figures such as Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, and George W. Bush. Throughout her life, her voice became synonymous with Toluca Lake, her primary residence in the San Fernando Valley. This serene locale provided a backdrop for her private life away from the bustling Hollywood scene. Her journey, marked by resilience, versatility, and unexpected ventures, carved a unique niche in the landscape of classic Hollywood. Contributions extend beyond the silver screen, showcasing a personality shaped by diverse experiences,